This video covers the Alex topic, finding slope given the graph of a line on a grid. So we have talked about slope before, right? If you've been following along this playlist, you might be a little sick of slope, but it's very important, so we're gonna keep talking about it. So slope can be positive, which makes it look like it's going uphill, negative, which is going downhill. I can have zero slope, which means my line is horizontal, and I can have undefined slope. This video is gonna focus primarily on finding uh, positive and negative slopes um, given two points, uh, given a graph of a line on a grid. So we aren't calculating slope just yet, we're gonna be taking it from a visual. So slope is called defined by the change in y over the change in x. So we sometimes call this like the rise over the run. Right, and our rise goes up if it's positive and down if our slope is negative. So here I have a slope of three because I'm going up three, rise, and then over one, that's my run. So here we'd have a slope of three. So we're gonna be looking at four graphs of lines and determining their slope by looking at their rise over their run Remembering that if we rise up, it's positive, and if we rise down, our slope is negative. You can also use your visualization tools to help you with this. So let's take a look at these two graphs. So I already know that this graph on the left, because it looks like it's going uphill, is going to have positive slope. And this graph on the right, because it's going downhill, is going to have negative slope. So we have to make sure that the slopes we find um, meet that criteria. We typically denote slope with the letter M, which is what I'm gonna do here today. Slope is M. So what's my rise for problem for this first graph right here? My rise goes up one, two, three. So that's my rise over run, three. And then I go right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So my slope is actually one half. I can simplify that fraction. You can also see here if I went, you know, let's change color. If I went up one over two, I'm at another point. Up one over two, add another point. So we can simplify our slopes. Next, I know this is going to be negative. I'm not going up, I'm going down. So I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So I go down six, that's negative six. And then I go over two, one, two. That gives me a slope of negative three. And you could see, switch colors, that if I went down three and over one, I'm already at a point on the line. Down three over one, I'm at a point on the line. So we may need to simplify our slopes. Two more examples. So let's start with this graph on the left. It's going uphill. It also looks like the exact same example we have done in the previous slide. So we're gonna ignore, actually no, it's different. Is it different? It is a little different. Okay, sorry about that, false alarm. So here, I'm gonna go up one, two, three, because my slope is my rise over my run, and this is going uphill, so it looks positive. So my rise is three, and I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I have three over six, which is a positive one half. So this is the exact same example I did before. So sorry about that. Well, I guess it's a little bit different because it's shifted one to the left. Here we start at negative three. Here we start at negative four, but my slope is still one half. Oh, well. Okay, next, I have a graph that's going downhill. I know this is gonna have negative slope, right? It's my rise over my run but I'm actually gonna be going down, so I know it's gonna be negative. So I go down one, two, three, is that it? Yes, three, and then I go over one, two, three, four. So my slope is negative three fourths. 